Asteroid 1998 QE2 to sail past Earth nine times larger than a cruise ship. What's going on, guys? Wednesday, May 22nd, 2013. First of all, my heart and my thoughts go out to the people in Oklahoma. No sooner did I post my last video talking about solar activity and how it may influence earthquakes and weather on Earth, we have one of the worst tornadoes in history, uh, devastating so many lives in Oklahoma. I can't even imagine it. Wow. I've heard everything from natural disaster to solar activity to maybe it was made by the government to take the focus off all the scandals. I mean, we could speculate on that kind of stuff, but the simple fact is we can't speculate on the lives that have been lost and the families that have lost everything and just total devastation. I don't, I don't even have the words, but my heart my thoughts go out to the people in Oklahoma. Uh, today I want to cover 1998 QE2. Let me uh, give you the first link will be from uh, NASA JPL. May 31st, 2013, asteroid 1998 QE2 will sail past Earth no closer than 3.6 million miles or about 15 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. This goes on for a while. It's got a lot more data on it. I am not worried about this rock hitting the planet. However, something that big is going to have a debris field with it. Uh, so we may see another Russia incident. We may see not as bad. We may see worse. So be on the lookout right around the 31st for any sort of fireballs. Um, just keep an eye on the sky. I'm going to give you the uh, JPL orbit diagram. Let me take off the uh, planet label, object label. And let's go forward to May 31st. That is actually when it breaks the plane with our planet. As you can see, it's nowhere near us. However, I'm more concerned about the debris field that may be traveling with it. I'm going to give you a couple more links here. I'll give you this link from JPL. I'll give you the orbit diagram that you're looking at. Condition code is zero, which means they are highly certain it is not going to hit the planet. Spaceweather.com. I'll put a link. If you scroll down near the bottom of the page, you'll see that there are several asteroids close that are going to make close calls. And the reason I'm bringing that up is there's a GLP thread I'll put under that. Seven asteroids larger than 1 km to pass near Earth in the next two months. So, summertime is going to be a time to be watching the sky, no doubt. Uh, probably going to see a number of fireballs, might see another Russia incident. Uh, and that one was kind of, that was kind of crazy. Anyway, I'll put a link to this thread. Uh, I got one more link here from the Extinction Protocol. NASA says, meteor slams into the moon, causes explosion visible to the naked eye on Earth. Was it, 20, was it DA-14 we were thinking might hit the moon? It never did. Here we have something that hit the moon that caused an explosion that could be seen with the naked eye on Earth. That's, that's pretty powerful stuff, man. I'll put a link to it. Final two links are going to be uh, updates on what's going on with the uh, tornado damage in Oklahoma. One from CNN, another one from Huffington Post. They got some pretty um, crazy video. You know, I started my live show when the uh, tornado warning was issued for Oklahoma City I watched it drop I watched it stay on the ground for 45 minutes and you know the devastation well turn on any media you could see just uh, I can't imagine what it must be like to go through something like that and uh, my heart and my thoughts are with the people in Oklahoma it's wow wow anyway guys that's all I got. I'll put all these links below. Please rate this video. Please share the information. Um, sky watchers, watch the sky over the next couple months. It's going to be interesting. And uh, does this thing have a debris field coming with it? What do you guys think? I'll put links to all this stuff. You guys take care. Stay safe. I will see you on the next one.